Hey guys, it's Cynthia the Fishing Mommy. Today I'm going to be doing another one of my brutally honest reviews of a um, tackle box subscription box. This is Bass Baits Monthly, and I had actually never heard of this subscription box until somebody in the comments of my previous video mentioned it to me. So uh, I guess everybody liked my brutally honest review <laughs> of the first Tackle Monkey box that I got. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it right up here. Uh, go ahead and take a look at it. I, I was fair, I hope, and objective, but also really honest about my opinion of that box and the baits in it for my time of year, my region, and what I thought of the box. Uh, more on that later. I, I'll talk about Tackle Monkey a little bit more later in this video, but for now, let's get into Bass Baits Monthly. Um, so right off the bat, let me talk about the pricing. This is an expensive box. This was $35 plus shipping. So for me, it was a little over $41. I did not use a coupon code or any sort of discount code. I decided to go ahead and pay, pay full price. I figured, you know something, if I'm going to be brutally honest about somebody's product, at the very least, I could pay them the full amount that they're asking for it. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's see what Bass Baits Monthly has in store. Just a couple of foundational things I want to mention. I am in New York. I'm in Southern New York, but it's still New England. It's still New York. And it is uh, November, early November right now. And uh, so the temperature outside is very cold. We've fully transitioned from fall really into winter temperatures. We've already had a little bit of dustings of snow and our water temperatures are in the 40s. Um, and we've fully transitioned, our lakes have fully transitioned. So having said that, I did want to kind of make those qualifications because I'm going to be looking at this box and evaluating it based on what the conditions are where I live at this time of year. So that all said, let's jump into Bass Baits Monthly and see what they have in store for us. I love the artwork on this box. This is great. I don't know if this is something that they commissioned themselves or you know what the story is with this artwork. I would like to know, um, but it's it's great looking. This is a this is a really exciting box. When I got this, I was like, oh man, this looks like bass fishing, like serious fishing. Uh, here is the logo, Bass Baits Monthly. And then they also have this logo mark, which honestly, I don't I don't really understand what's going on there. Uh, it's a little weird um, in terms of branding. Okay, so the first thing in here is a card. This is kind of funny. It's the, they've, they've called it the San Diego Jam Knot. But I'm pretty sure that's an improved clinch knot. You guys get in the comments and tell me what you think. Is this an approved clinch knot or am I crazy? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, anyway, whatever it's called, I, I like this knot and I like the card. On the back of it, it is some promotional information, you know, their Instagram, a promo code, and then send your pics to be featured. You know, kind of fairly standard stuff. What there is not in here is any kind of pricing card or listing of the baits. The first thing when I reach in here and pull it out is a whopper plopper. What? Wow. And this is a genuine river to sea whopper plopper. Um, this is whopper plopper 75 and the color is monkey butt, which is a lot of people's favorite color. I'm not sure I actually have this color. I think I have loon and black. I don't think I have a monkey butt. So I'm actually really pretty excited about this bait. That is monkey butt. Whopper Plopper. Let's see if I can get this to focus a little bit better. I'm not sure if my camera is focusing. I'm trying some new things with video recording, so uh, I'm not sure. So we're all familiar with with Whopper Ploppers. You know the solid hooks, the the great um, colorways. I mean, what can, what is there to say about a Whopper Plopper? The Whopper Plopper is really like a classic bait for a reason. I mean, this thing is awesome. It really catches fish. And when you're throwing top waters, this is a fantastic top water to throw. Now, that said, it's November in New York. 
I'm, I'm probably not going to be throwing this until the springtime, realistically speaking. So while I'm excited about the quality of this lure and, and um, the size of it, the color, this is, I mean, it's a brand name lure. I love it. I don't think it's seasonally appropriate, uh, but that's okay. Let's move on and see what else we have. Next thing in the box, another top water, Santone Buzzbait. Uh, this is a really cool color. Red River Special is what it's called. I, I don't know exactly what that's meant to be, but it's like a chartreuse white and um, black and white with a white head and silver uh, buzz. This is great. I mean, the wire feels good. It is a nice large buzz bait, but not too large. I, I don't see a weight on here. Wait, oh, there it is. It's behind the thing. Hold on. It's a half ounce buzz bait. Uh, it's great. The, this has must-add hooks on it. Um, you know, as far as buzz baits go, great. Again, it's November and we're in the 30s outside. I'm not going to be throwing a buzz bait until at least spring, more likely probably summer. Uh, so that's two top waters. What else do we have? Oh, okay. Not a top water. This is another Santone Lures. This is a football jig, M series football jig. It looks great. It looks like the color is called Mexican Heather, which is really interesting. It's like a green pumpkin with some purple on it. And actually the color, the colorway is beautiful. Very pretty. I'm going to take this out and take a better look at it. Oh, it's, it's a rattling jig. Can you guys hear that? That's pretty cool. Check out that pretty, pretty color. Okay, so that is the Santone uh, M series football jig. Really nice jig. It's a half ounce um, green pumpkin and purple jig. I may be able to throw this uh, through the winter, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say this is this is a winner. What else do we have in here? Oh. Another top water lure. Now, it just happens to be one of my favorite top water lures. This is the Hedden Super Spook Junior. Another classic. Uh, this color looks like mullet or something. What is this color? Lake Fork Shad, really? It's got a white belly, blue top, orange chin. Fantastic colorway. I, I, this is a pretty, pretty colorway. I've actually never seen this exact color before. Kind of a sexy shad. Um, it's it's great looking. It it has the freshwater hooks on it, not the saltwater. I usually use my Super Spooks for saltwater, but this colorway is going to be amazing in saltwater and probably freshwater as well. Again, awesome name brand lure, uh, super high quality. I know this is a proven winner, but it's November in New York, so probably not the best timely choice, but ultra high quality lore, one of my favorites. Now we're gonna move into the soft plastics. Oh, here's the Bass Baits Monthly sticker. I'm not really sure what's going on with this branding. So it's a little strange to me, honestly, but that, there it is. <laughs> we have two plastics in here and we have some terminal tackle. I'll start with the terminal tackle. This is a full five pack of Gamakatsu 3 yacht. EWG offset hooks, fantastic. I mean, nothing to complain about there. These, I, I love Gamakatsu hooks. Uh, the red is interesting and uh, you can always use these. And I like that it's a full pack. So thank you guys for that. The plastics. The first one is Missile Baits Baby D Bomb. There you go. It's kind of a like a, a bug craw a combination. It's interesting because it's got it's got like biffles. I get I don't know if that's what you call them ribs, uh, but then the craw claws there. There you go. 
You see that? That is a really, really interesting bait. It looks like a caterpillar, but with craw claws. And it feels kind of like a caterpillar, actually. Uh, really pretty color. Color is called Love Bug. Can you see that? Like purple with a little bit of red on it. I like these. These are great. Um, and these seem like they'll be awesome really year round. I, I like this plastic. Missile Baits uh, Baby D Bomb <laughs> in the color Love Bug. These are awesome. I really like these. And then the last thing in the box is Power Bait, Berkeley Power Bait, the general. Uh, so Senko style stick baits. And these, there's eight in here. And this color is Baby Bass. One of my favorite colors. What I, what I actually really love about this color, I, I don't wanna open these cause they stink, but I'm gonna do it anyway. The things I do for you guys. God. It smells weird. It smells like fish and licorice. Um, anyway, what I love about this color is the flake. Uh, they are sort of baby bass, so they're green on the top, white pearl on the bottom, but they have a flake that the um, Yamamoto Senko equivalent does not have. That's the um, green pumpkin pearl laminate, and that does not have any flake in it. I actually really love this color with the flake. I feel like that's gonna be super effective. So that is the Berkeley Power Bait eight count. Uh, again, great. And I will definitely be using these. I, again, I kind of feel like in the spring, sort of spawn and post spawn, these might be a little bit more effective, but you know what? We're gonna give it a shot. That is the baits in the um, Bass Baits monthly box. There's two plastics one terminal tackle, a jig, and three top waters. Now, you know, again, quality wise, I would say this is probably one of the best boxes I've ever seen in terms of just overall high quality baits. I don't believe that they're particularly seasonally appropriate. Um, and they are definitely not what I would have personally gone to the store and picked out for myself for fishing in November uh, in New York. So would I spend $41 on this box again? I would not. I would much rather go to my local store and spend $41 or even, I hate to say it, but Amazon or Carl's or Monster Bass or Salt Strong, uh, where I could pick out exactly what I wanted. I know these baits, they are tried and true, they're proven winners but I can go buy them myself. Do I like getting three top waters in any box? No. And that is actually the worst thing I could say about this box. If I had anything really negative to say, I would say pretty much any time of year, I don't think that a subscription box should be sending you three top waters in one box. Um, so that is it for this box. Um, I did want to circle back around to Tackle Monkey and just say one last thing about them. As you know, I was really, really unimpressed with that first box that I got. Uh, they did reach out to me and we chatted about it briefly. Because I used the $10 discount code and I got that first uh, Tackle Monkey box for $10, they sent out their first box. So their sort of inaugural box, which was the one I got. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why they did that. It, why they wouldn't send somebody their best foot forward on the first impression, I don't know. Um, but we chatted, they were very, very gracious, very nice guys. And so I agreed to give them another shot and I did pay full price for a second box that I should be receiving, you know, anytime now, and I will be reviewing that as soon as it arrives. That is my review of Bass Baits Monthly, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something, if you enjoyed hearing my honest opinion about this box, please just take a quick second, hit that subscribe button, and uh, don't forget to turn on the notifications too so that you always know when we put up a new video. You know, I know there are millions of fishing-related videos out there, my light just fell over. <laughs> I know there are millions of fishing related videos out there. Uh, there are 
probably thousands uploaded every single day and you have lots of choices. So the fact that you're willing to spend a few minutes with me and share that time out of your life really means so much to me. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll catch you later.